Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create a personal folder in your own computer to which you can store items from Outlook. You have to do this if you do not have a Microsoft Exchange server and are using Outlook on a standalone computer. Even if you do have an Exchange server, you can also create a Personals folder to which you can store Outlook items. A Personal folder is a file type that ends with a .pst file extension. If you do not have an Exchange server as your mailbox, then the Personal folder is created when you configure your email accounts in Outlook at startup. And this is the folder that contains your mail, your inbox, your other items. If you use a personal folder for item storage, you can hold the items on your computer in a folder that no one else but you or your delegates can access. Personal folders, unlike private folders, cannot be shared and are simply designed for storing items on your personal computer's hard drive. To create a personal folder, select File, New, and then choose Outlook Data File from the menu bar if you're using Outlook 2003 or Outlook XP. This will launch the New Outlook Data File dialog box. In Outlook 2003, you can select Office Outlook Personal Folders File to create a new folder that has enhanced storage capacity. However, this folder is not accessible for previous versions of Outlook. If compatibility is a concern, you can instead select Outlook 97 through 2002 personal folders file from the dialog box instead. So you would make your selection and then click OK. This will then launch the Create or Open Outlook Data File dialog box. You use this box to decide where to store the personal folder. Note where they're stored by default is fairly complex so you might want to make note of where you're putting it. You can also use the file name box at the bottom to type in a name for the folder. And then click OK. At that point, the Create Microsoft Personal Folders dialog box will appear. Type the name for the folder as you want it to appear within your folder list by typing it into the Name text box here. You can change the encryption setting if needed by selecting the desired option in the Encryption Setting section no encryption, compressible encryption, or high encryption. You can also set a password for access to the folder by typing the desired password into the password and verify password text boxes. Now once you've set the folder settings as needed, click OK to save and create the folder. If you are using the folder list in the navigation pane, You'll note that you now have a new folder with the name that you typed into the Create Microsoft Personal Folders dialog box appear in your folder list. It will also have its own deleted items folder which we can see when we click the little plus next to it to expand it. You can click on the folder to view the contents. You can also move your items and other Outlook folder items into this folder if desired. If you would like to close the personal folder, simply right click on the entry in the folder list and select Close Folder Name. This will remove the entry from the folder list as well. When you need to open the personal folder again, select File go to Open and choose Outlook Data File if using Outlook 2003 or XP. This will then launch the Open Outlook Data File dialog box where you can use the Look In drop-down to navigate to the folder into which you save the personal folder. It will then appear in the list of folders available. You can select it with a click and then click OK to open the personal folder which also puts the personal folder icon back into your folder list. So you can easily move items into this folder by selecting something for your inbox 
and then just dragging and dropping it into your personal folder which when you click on your personal folder in the future there's the contents now to delete a personal folder first you have to make sure it's closed so if you right click and choose close that will close it out also you'll have to close Outlook as you're not going to be able to delete the folder while Outlook is running even if it's closed you would then have to use the Windows system to navigate into the folder in which you saved the personal folder so you may want to open it and find out exactly where it was again by looking at the look in drop down that's the first folder second third fourth fifth sixth seventh folder you would have to get into in order to access it and then you could simply delete it note that you might not be able to delete it while Outlook is open so unfortunately clicking the delete button as you can see doesn't work so you will have to go in through Explorer or through the my computer icon in Windows in order to actually delete the folder like what you see pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free